So we got in line two hours early because we're going to do the sci-fi karaoke bus and hopefully get some free stuff. Yeah, yeah. Saw me as a threat. First hunt for Boba Fett to pay off his bad debt. You came to save the day, gave you a saber beaten. Hand thought this is bleeding. Story you heard is misleading. You know it's true, just search your feelings. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. But I'm your father, so join me, maybe. Only one took you as a baby. And I'm your father. Maybe. And five years later on, got to the world at your feet. Success has been so easy for you. But don't forget, it's me who put you where you are now. And I can put you back there too. Don't, don't you want me? You know I can. Only one. She took the midnight. So two things, here is uh, officially day one of con. There are, uh, you know, lots more people. And the other thing I was gonna tell you was um, I conned a supernatural bag off a kid and I'm pretty stoked about it. I don't feel guilty at all. Stuff. You don't want, you know, you don't want that. So I think it's just part of being human. Yeah. Um, we were talking earlier about this. I'm doing with a I'm not the only one who's alone. Promise you take me home. I'm doing with a I'm not the only one. Criminal Minds. Your mom's house, you know. Uh, I'm super excited to be here hosting a uh, Sunrise Break debate. This is my fourth great debate, I think. Uh, everyone gets better and better because I drink more and more every time. <laughs> Deficient, Danny Fernandez! <laughs> Comedian, writer, and co-host of the podcast Couples Therapy. I'm never going to say her last name right. Naomi F. Perrigan! <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! I did it right now! Oh, oh blur nation. Um, from my brother to my brother and me and your mom's house. which I think the Marvel Universe has taken TV and put it into cinema. And then also, as far as characterization, um, it, it, uh, it included a depth into uh, genre characters that we haven't seen before. I mean, no one really believes that Thanos isn't evil and isn't going to get his comeuppance. Every episode of Game of Thrones, we didn't know whether someone to be loved would die, turn evil, or vice versa. So there was amazing there. They had amazing woman characters, except for some things in the last season. Okay, let's not talk about it right now. And, um, and... Game of Thrones is very sad. It made me sad, and I didn't like that. <laughs> Superheroes make me really happy, and I do like that. But now I'm sad that my happiness is gone. 
it's just a whole mixed bag. It's a roller coaster up here, folks. Uh, I wish I mean inside my head. I will say that uh, I'm very sad that Marvel Cinematic Universe, whatever, Form 1. Look at that outside floor. I'm just gonna take a short little stroll on the floor. Get on the. Hey, Daddy. For all you nerds out there that like this kind of stuff, not my cup of tea, but you know. Oh, got a free book. Today is by far, well, I mean, it is kind of close to the end, but today by far, super chill. Okay, so we got an Uber. Look at the fake ponytail. Get it. Um, why? Or, or where are we going? Or what are we doing? Uh, we're going to Wayward Cocktails. And what do you have in your hand, Jenna? Um, I have a really cool drink that says, keep cool and con on. Oh, mine says, spandex is hot drink up. So it's leather. Yeah. BT dubs. Leather is really hot. Okay. So be prepared for adventures. ditches because I'm more savage so like really that party was like really cool it was so fun we met some really cool people like us I moved up in the world I am 1.5 as a friend instead of number two just saying and when she says really cool I mean we think we're really cool but I think all of you would think we're freaking dorks but that's okay I mean we I'm, told some epic stories and everybody loved it and it's cool. <laughs> right now. and I got three new followers to my YouTube channel. Up to 11! Yes! So, for all you bitches out there, Wild and Free Travel Diaries. 
B number 13, 14, 15, okay? Oh, Smoochies. That could happen. Like, I feel like that kind of looks like he might not be a cheater, but I feel like that one would be a cheater. I feel like he's looking at women, and I feel like he could have a ring on, and he's very cheating. So, like, that's what happens when you're a cop, right? But when you're in London, I feel like because London people are so nice, they're very polite. They don't cheat on the wives. They actually, like, like you know, face right now is like who is this bitch right <laughs> yeah you're awesome thanks I think I'm awesome too okay so we were in the wrong line like for 20 minutes Jenna's in the bathroom we're in the right line but it may take like 25 minutes to get it Just because bitches are like half naked doesn't mean you can touch them. Oh, oh. 